it's you! Come here! Whoa! Okay! You just missed it! There was this huge boom! And then everybody was like, ah, oh, ah! No! Well, she jumps out the window! I have no idea what's going on, but by the smoking hole in that corpse, I think you can tell where we are right about now. And look at this. This pump flew out of his hand when he got... Yep. That's her. We're gonna draw that one. And that fella on the wrong end of the blaster was a bounty hunter. <laughs> this outpost never ceases to amaze. Now I called you in for something, I think, was it? Oh, yeah. All right, here's the deal. Doc Ondor's the outpost's relic wielder deal. And he's looking for someone to, uh, collect something for him. It's real dangerous. Other people are after it. You might die. Sounds fun, right? Anyway, Doc said he would stop by and size you up. See if you're good for the work. Whatever you do, do not end up on Doc's list. Don't talk about the shape of his head. Don't ask him which mouth he eats with, because that is very rude. And certainly don't get him started on Otagans. <laughs> I speak from experience when I say that, because I did it once. And in fact, you know, <laughs> That's him. Hey, Doc, how about those Otakens, huh? <laughs> Broke my rule right out of the gate. He's all yours. Good luck.
15 things you didn't know about Senator Abidallah's wardrobe seems to discuss it. I know that. Everybody knows that. Everything? Perfect! I'm probably gonna make her some jewelry out of the things you just found. I mean, you know, not not, not probably. I I I, I, I am. I, I I have the design. What do you mean the hollow channel is still open? Oh, mother... <laughs> uh, hi, uh, uh, bye! Uh, bye now, bright suns. Uh, welcome to the depot. Oh, God, I mean, no. He's not dead by my hand. Though I may have considered it once or twice, but... We are the history, Deke and I. We planned on being partners many, many years ago now.
report pirate activity in the area. Likely trying to pick up any scraps missed by the Baron. Tony, I hope you find the space suitable for your pursuits. Just please keep the squelching to a minimum. The sounds of your work disturb me. You found one of Deke's chroniclers. He was a forgetful soul. He would record reminders for himself and then forget where he left the chronicler. <laughs>
I hid it for good reason. Just because I've discovered the key, should it be used? The piece would undoubtedly fetch a high price on the market, but at what cost? Though to see Doc's face.
just out of sight. Is it you, Doc? Or someone more sinister? Whoever my pursuer is, I can feel them constrict around me. In fact, they're here! They found me! I suppose he's cooling off. In that case, continue your search. Some things are best left buried. I've hidden the key, possibly forever. Only Doc might suspect the cipher, which... Uh, a calculated risk. Uh, he feared I might sell the relic. Can you believe the nerve?
must be seen. Now, scan it for me. There must be some reason the Barrett killed Deke. If we find out you're hiding anything from us, we'll bury you right next to your old friend. Anything of interest I have is for sale in my shop. Now, if you don't mind, I'd like to enjoy my drink. Enjoy a drink? In this dump? Remember Addie? She had the trouble with all the darkness and the whispers, you know? Well, she went on to become a Jedi Knight. And she knew that meant eventually taking a Padawan. But what she didn't know is that in order to teach, you also have to be willing to learn. But for our first field lesson, I thought there'd be a challenge, like save a village from raiders or... Not all challenges are opponents, Padawan. You'll see. Master Sylwyn would insist on a trip to Valron when she'd sense me losing focus. But we also came because... it's time I returned something of hers. 
I've been using my master's kyber crystal in my lightsaber. Oh. As a Jedi, these attachments are forbidden. But everything happened so fast. The hyperspace disaster struck before I was assigned a new master, and then the Nile threat appeared. I think I needed her voice, in a way. What kind of things would she say? Oh, wise counsel things. Like, one of her favorites on Perseverance was, Addie, you must push through. It worked. You're here. Yes, but what happened on Batu? Did Master Yoda's presence save me, or would Master Silwyn's training have been enough? Training like what? The training you're about to begin. why we're here. This is where you'll take some of your first steps of really listening to the Force and letting it speak through you. Oh, whoa. Okay. This is what I want to do. Now hold on, Padawan. Remember, a Jedi... Mm -hmm. I remember. <laughs> Stop, Nua! Stop! Uh, I didn't! <sighs> I'm sorry, Master. I'm sorry, Nua. I remember that feeling. Master Silwyn let me fail in front of her again and again. I should have done it first, to show you how to succeed. Now, stand back. Exploding ones to show you what not to do. You see, it's not just about defense, it's also about patience, being settled before determining whether combat is even called for. Being focused, it could mean sparing the life of another, or maybe saving your own. <laughs> Need to avoid the ones that explode. You're good at this, Master. Well, I wasn't always. And you'll get better, too. But beyond your lack of patience, you let your eagerness for combat get the best of you. I understand, Master. I get it. It's, we have this power. Sometimes it feels good to use it. Okay. That emotion you're describing is a release. A release of frustration and rage. Those are not the tools of a Jedi. Maybe I brought you here too early. No, wait, Master! You brought me here for a lesson. I'll just watch and learn. We can push through like Master Silwyn said. That's the point, right? I suppose it is, Padawan. Oh, my God. 
I was a bit slow that time. There we have it. Not a lesson in strength, a lesson in restraint. Sure, but aren't the Jedi supposed to defend the Outer Rim? I mean, I know we're peacekeepers, but how are we supposed to keep the peace without some muscle? The true measure of a Jedi isn't when they are the most powerful in the room. It's when they're not. Physical prowess and training is good. It is. But our goal is peace. So the mental side, the discipline, the clarity of thought and focus, that is the core of our strength. Okay. Well, are there any more provocative thinking exercises? <laughs> Lucky for you, there are. I wish Master Silwyn and I made it here more often. Devium stones, Padawan. And the key here is balance. Use the force to arrange the stones. It's not solely about balance within, either. You need to consider balance with every decision as a Jedi. The balance of nature if you need to relocate a settlement, of a treaty and how it affects all parties. Balance doesn't always mean an even split of weight. Texture, density, shape, there are many aspects to consider. And that's just for these stones. The world outside this temple only gets more complex. really be because most of the histories I've read are about great Jedi victories on the battlefield. I can't think of one that's like about the time Master Yoda concentrated really hard and achieved balance the end. That's because you weren't listening. Every victory comes at a price. The notion of glory in winning? That's the lure of the dark side. Yeah. That... You're right. Okay. Show me another. you're doing it. The way I was thinking would have collapsed. When I was young, as short as you are now, I was... Um, I'm actually tall for a year, Del, of my age. Oh, uh, yes. <laughs> well... <sighs> Nua, I'm sorry. I should have known that. You're my first Padawan, and... I worry I'm not ready for this. Well, I think it's okay to not be good at something on your first try. Patience and balance, right? Huh. <laughs>
The trick is to do it quickly. showing me these what would you call these master Selwyn called them obstacles I think she wanted to change my perception on what an obstacle could be think about this Padawan what use is an obstacle <laughs> they don't have a use they're just in the way <laughs> they are but an obstacle also presents us with a challenge and challenges push us Make us grow. Oh, yeah. Let's do some more obstacles then. What's this? Is this it? I am not clear on what this was. Is. Master Silwyn said I should know, but that was a long time ago and it's still a mystery. Maybe it's just broken. Maybe. Let's keep going. On to the next one. Ew. Gross. Should we clear those out with my lightsaber? No. They have to be nurtured. Ugh, but they're nasty. It's how we foster growth. Learn to look at a problem differently and an enemy can grow to become an ally. Or maybe even something more beautiful. Like a friend. Um, how? The flowers want the fallen seeds. We provide them with the guidance they need. Seed on purpose to show you how fragile life is. You were right. They're actually beautiful. I was kind of afraid of them at first. You shouldn't fear something just because it's unusual to you. Fear, anger, hate, suffering, they all lead to the dark side. If you're afraid of the dark, then you need to be the light. Seeds are easily cracked.
there something you fear now? Uh, being here brings back a lot. I feel Master Silwyn's absence again. What was it like when you lost her? <sighs> it was like falling. You think there's nothing you can do, no way to reach out and stop the descent. Just deeper and deeper. And, uh, uh, thankfully, Master Yoda was there to guide me back. But her being gone, I don't ever want to leave you in a similar situation. Maybe now is a good time to return her crystal. Where will it go? There's a vessel here in the temple. Early Ithorian, I think. She always admired it. Okay. I'll wait over there. Thank you, Padawan. I'll be quick. It's time to say goodbye, Master. Now to get her crystal out. Hello, Master. I know you'd probably frown on me taking this, but we parted too soon. I didn't feel finished when you were taken, but I've tried to become the Jedi you were molding me to be. I just hope I've made you proud. I still can't believe I'll never see you again, that the time we had is all we'll ever get. I'm a knight now, and we spoke about what it meant to be a Jedi. But being a teacher is a subject we never got to cover. I wish we had one more chance to talk. To just hear your voice again. <sighs> Nua? 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 Nua, get down from there. It's okay. I've, I've almost got it. Ah! Nua! Ah! suppose that's true. How did you get out? I followed your lessons. I was scared, but with patience, I was able to find balance. That helped me push through. Also, I, I literally pushed through that panel. 
You really looked at the problem in a different way. I'd never thought about taking those words... ...literally. Nua, I think you just helped me solve the mystery of the last obstacle. It's a message. Addy, I'm so proud of you. From Master Silwyn. I knew one day you'd find this. There isn't a single challenge you can't overcome. Small or large. Push through. Well, I believe you may be the large challenge she's referring to. <laughs> Master. <laughs> Kidding. Sort of. But Nua, thank you for reminding me that the flow of knowledge goes both ways. You've taught me something today. A lesson my master meant to teach me years ago. You're welcome, master. You taught me that I still have a lot to learn. Don't we all? But that's why I'm here for you. And you for me. What's our next challenge? I think it's you telling Master Yoda you broke the sculpture. Just me? <laughs> All right, fine. We can do it together. Never too old to be a student. That's what I always say. Right, my little porgy wand apprentice? <laughs> Ugh, okay. Apparently someone's had enough learning for today. Now beat it. I gotta clean this up. Well.